Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And the following video is about AMORC's thoughts on Manly P. Hall. This is taken from the Rosicrucian Forum, a private publication for members of AMORC, the Rosicrucian Order, Volume 8, Number 1, August 1937. Manly Hall and Rosicrucianism. Because of many questions that have been submitted to the forum in the past month regarding the lectures and claims set forth in the advertising and secular matter issued by Mr. Manley P. Hall of Los Angeles, we feel that it is only fair to our readers to privately make this following statement and answer their specific questions. Mr. Hall for many years has been touring the United States as a public lecturer, sometimes following his public free appearance on the platform with private classes at very high tuition fees. It is not what he is doing or what he pretends to teach that interests us. For such lectures and self-appointed teachers have come and gone by the score in the past 20 years. Nearly every one of them have taken opportunity, as has Mr. Hall, to make derogatory remarks regarding the integrity, the stability, the honesty, and authenticity of the AMORC. Yet nearly all of them have passed by the way and have gone into oblivion, and their highly featured programs and plans have completely failed while AMORC has continued to exist and to grow. Sometimes we think that the deliberate and exuberant criticisms of AMORC made by these traveling lectures have done much to make AMORC better known and to redound to make credit in as much as persons in the audience hearing an unknown organization belittled and be smattered with mud during lecture after lecture, decide that perhaps a little investigation should be made, or perhaps they are unacquainted with something they should know about. And so much of this criticism has resulted in individuals making inquiries about AMORC and finally discovering that bias and prejudice alone were responsible for the unfair and untrue remarks that had been made. In such cases, of course, the individuals lose all faith in everything that is claimed and said by the lecturer, and their confidence and trust is directed towards our organization instead. However, all of that besides the question, we are not accusing Mr. Hall of being a serious or an important enemy of AMORC, and most certainly we cannot classify him as a friend. But when Mr. Hall advertises widely that he is going to lecture on the secret rites, rituals, and teachings of the Rosicrucians and Freemasons, or the mystical elements of Freemasonry, or the secret brotherhood of the Rosicrucians, and on Bacon and Shakespeare and similar subjects, Thousands of our members and many more thousands of friends of our members and still more Thousands of sincere seekers begin to ask a few pertinent questions. First of all They ask is mr. Hall a member of the recognized Rosicrucian Brotherhood and a member of the Freemasonic fraternity and is he a recognized authority of the lives of Bacon and Shakespeare so far as the authentic and recognized Rosicrucian order is concerned, we can definitely say that he is not known in Europe or in America as a member of the AMORC or any other branch of the recognized Rosicrucian activities throughout the world. Nor has he ever been such a member. As to whether or not he is a Freemason, I am not qualified to say. Although it is seriously questioned by those who are capable of making certain tests. But that is entirely besides the point of my present argument. As for my knowledge about the lives of Bacon and Shakespeare, 
from things I have read that he has written. He evidently knows less about Bacon than anyone I have ever known who claimed to be ready and prepared to speak or lecture on the subject. Mr. Hall has written some books with titles which lead the reader to think that he is going to find many secrets revealed. Mr. Hall still the old-fashioned and strange idea that Christian Rosencruz founded, established, invented, or created the Rosicrucian fraternity and first introduced it to Germany. And he has many other ideas about Rosicrucianism that are just as strange as that. He presents an interesting program in his secular matter, and he certainly awakens the interest of a sincere seeker who has never heard of him before. And all are agreed that during the course of his lectures, he expresses some ideas in such superlative and flowery language that one is not sure what he means. But as for revealing any secrets or telling the average seeker anything he does not know that will lead him to a real path of development and unfoldment, I have yet to hear any real investigator who would endorse him as either a lecturer or a teacher. Now I trust that none of our members are going to think that Mr. Hall is injuring the AMORC organization and that that is why we are making these remarks of a critical nature. Our members have asked what we know of him and what we thought of him. And I am trying to be frank and yet conservative. We have never lifted a finger of protest against the many erroneous statements Mr. Hall has made. Although on occasion, some of our members who could not remain reticent and silent during his unfair diatribes against AMORC have listened to his speeches and protested. Mr. Hall and a hundred more like him making the same statements across the country could not do any real serious injury to AMORC unless they were far enough to indulge in incriminating charges which they happily invade doing but we do not like to have our members and their friends go to the Manly Hall lectures and spend even a small admission fee or the car fare or gasoline to journey to the lecture and get a seat inside if they are expecting any real knowledge or any real help. If they are seeking some form of entertainment or want to study a man who is volubly lecturing on a subject of which he knows nothing, then Manly Hall proves quite satisfying and perhaps not at all disappointing. Remember that when a public lecturer cannot identify himself with an authentic and recognized organization that is promoting the subjects upon which he lectures, you may look with suspicion upon the authenticativeness of his discourse. Freelance speakers do not go out and lecture in behalf of the teachings of postulations of activities of some philosophical or other school and do so freely and of their own accord unless they have books for sale or some means of commercializing their activities. And this is precisely what Mr. Hall is doing. And I hope that no persons will be deceived into thinking that they are receiving any help in their studies with AMORC by attending his lectures. Otherwise, Mr. Hall has our complete permission to continue his talks on Bacon, Shakespeare, Freemasonry, Rosicrucianism, Theopathy, and whatnot. One of his subjects is claimed to be a revelation that black magic still exists in the modern world. When an individual pretends to lecture on such a theme with sincerity, he must be either self-deceived or is attempting to deceive his audience. Furthermore, by claiming black magic ever existed, let alone existing in the present day, he is contributing to the fear complexes the suffering, the anguish, and the heartaches of many individuals who do not understand. It is this phase of the work of Mr. Hall that we greatly regret and wholly condemn. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description below. Thank you very much.